Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We have our logging train heading off there in the distance. We're sat at Zweisimmen and we're finally getting episode 13 underway. Uh, there was a slight delay yesterday due to a very loud and noisy, boisterous, destructive storm that came with three tornadoes and one of which was heading our way for a good 10 minutes. So yes, recording couldn't be done. Fortunately, that tornado for us, fortunately for us, I should say, not for those that it affected, but uh, it it made a, a sharp eastward movement, which meant it missed us by about 12 miles. But for, a, for the longest time, it was heading directly for us. I was sat there ready to go. Contrary to popular belief, I do not live in a big mansion, but a house that would be uh, destroyed quite easily by a tornado. There we go. And if you are to the east of us in Texas, where we are, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, I hope you guys are staying safe as well. That same storm system is still active today. I'm recording this early Monday morning because that's how that's how I do. I mean, when weather says you, you're not recording, you're not recording, are you? No. There, there comes our other plank train. And I believe I can... <laughs> look at the timing, guys. There we go. Zweizuman is here to cheer us all up. Which is what my videos are intended to do, I hope. Bring you a little relaxation and happiness for 45 minutes and ignore everything that's going on in the world where possible. I, I noticed people waiting on the platform for that train, so that is lovely. And they're exchanging platforms. I just saw that. Did you see the uh, crowd of people? You can just see them now. Hang on, we can use cursor keys to get over there. There they all are. I believe they came from uh, Gustat. That, that's what I'm going with on a pronunciation. Close enough. Or Stad, we could just say. Yeah, look at them all. That's that's impressive. We may need to uh, increase the length of that train. At least it's at least it's popular. That's good. We've got a lot to check on today. However, I have other news, and that is uh, new internet is coming to. But well, it's being scheduled to be installed tomorrow. Fingers crossed that I have some good fortune where the internet is concerned. Uh, it's 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 decent speeds. What I've got to see now is whether it's got the reliability as well. So that, that's what I'll be testing. I'm going to have to run both side by side because we don't want any uh, hiccups, do we? So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be paying that for a year. because you, you can't really tell, can you? Uh, plus, I'm under contract with my current ISP. But I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Maybe one day. One day. It might be as, as close as tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll have normal-ish internet, which is pretty good given my location. Out away from cities, I'm in the middle of some somewhere like this, just not quite as mountainous. It's very it's very hilly, but it's not uh, doesn't have giant mountains. Yeah, but it's it, it does feel a little bit like home. Right? Yes. Real life out the way. This is our bubble of happiness and relaxation, isn't it? So we uh, we've got a lot to do today. We've got to check up on the map, upgrade our fleet of buses. We'll maybe connect up uh, since Stefan uh, in the mountains. We have the track heading up there. I, th I think today serves as a good uh, relaxation day for me. Yes, and for everybody. Yeah, let's all let's all chill and enjoy the map as it stands. Plus, time is ticking away. Should we get on with it? I know I've been waffling a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't care. Let's uh, let's start here. I have got a bus route to fix down in Spitz, so we're going to be doing that as well. I, I missed the stop. Right, let's uh, let's upgrade your buses, guys. No, nope, that's not how you play, is it, Brand? <laughs> Manage vehicles. Tick the right one. It's it's going to be pretty quick to do this, but they they should keep their colours. If we just upgrade them like this. So we're going to replace those. We've got the money for it. I did, didn't realise we quite had that much money. But we do. So we're going to get to see them in a, a variety of colours. Because we've been 
coloring a, a, a lot of our roots different colors so that's going to be uh, nice to see isn't it that that's them in very lime greeny you're not going to miss it are you no you, you're never going to get up <laughs> you're never going to miss those dear oh dear that is that is super bright can we urban if you're watching can we have an option to turn the reminders off there might be one look how busy it is See, our train will hold up our buses that way while they wait for... There we go, passenger train coming in. But these ones are still free to go. This was the idea they had. I mean, if we look at the length of it, it just clears the switch, guys. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, but yeah, these ones are still free to go. It does hold up those. But it's never very long, and it's only because it currently comes in here. It might be heading that way soon into this platform, which means it will clear the line sooner. There you go, here's a way. Not too bad. Our buses are now clumped up. Yeah, we may need to rework that a little bit. Maybe. We could hold it up just before here. I mean, we don't really want both of these trains here at the same time, do we? Anyway. It could sit here and wait at that signal. Should we do that? I kind of like that. It keeps our buses moving. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to... Uh, shift this back to to here to make sure that our buses continue on their way do we want it one way yes we do want it one way don't we we don't want we don't want anything coming down that way there we go okay so that that will wait here uh it should be pretty similar to how it is now it will also clear the line sooner our passenger train will wait there and our freight trains will wait back there. And yeah, our other freight train will wait here anyway. And there's plenty of room back here on this loop. I like it. So uh, right, we've got those buses in. Let's go and fix speeds while I remember. As you know me, I will forget. It's this service. And we can upgrade the buses here as well. So there we go. Uh, two birds, one stone. Let's do it. We need to... There's, there's the missing stop, guys. I missed that one, I think. Let's see what we can see. Is it that one? Which one are we on? Speed station. Why are you not showing the line? Because we're in the vehicle manager, Grand. You know that. Anyway, let's get them changed, and then we'll sort the line out. Perfect. There we go. We got them in dark... Oh, they look lovely in dark blue, don't they? Royal blue. GT blue. It's kind of close to the blue I use. Oh, it's such a lovely map. I'm going to say it makes me smile every time I'm in here. I feel a little under the weather today as well. That's dear, oh dear. Episode 13, stop. Stop it. Fear not. I think it's just allergies. So, uh, yes, good times if it's allergies. Just get that every year here. That's not what we're doing though, talking about your allergies. What we're doing is fixing this line, aren't we? Yes, we are. Right. Yeah, we we skipped this stop just here, didn't we? Or I did. I'm not going to blame you guys. <laughs> that's, that's not right. Do we... Do, how many... I might have missed a few stops, to be honest. No, you stop up there. Yes. And then you skip down to here. That's right. That's right. That's fine. Um, and looking at it, it feels like we could head down here, to be fair. Wouldn't that make more sense? And then we'd share this stop instead. I'm going to have it stop here. This makes... The more I look at this, this makes more sense because it's more direct. We've got these other bus services for the uh, stopping stuff. So, yeah. And then it can just go straight across, kind of intersect the two lines and... It will create a little interchange. Should we do it? I was not going to do that today, but I do like the look of that. So we not only are we going to add this one back in, we're going to uh, rejiggify it. Yes. Which means we'll be heading down here. This one is now not required. We could also head down this way, more direct, and have a little stop here. Do you know what? We're... Yeah got your thinking shoes on today grand yeah we're gonna head down here we're gonna divert and pretty much direct to the station i like this 
I like this much better. Okay, so let's bring up the line, edit this station. We're going to get rid of two and three and, oh, two again. Yep, <laughs> there we go. And now we're going to stop here and here. It already wants to do that, you see, it's quicker. And that's what I want this to be. I want it to be much faster uh, than our, our stopping loop services. So we're going to go here after Stanley Road and then down here to Victoria Road and then Park Road, North Road, Mill Lane, uh, Manchester Road, Queensway, London. Oh, no, you, you can't go there after Queensway. There we go. Beautiful. There we go, guys. I'm happier with that. I don't know about you. Are you happier with that? I, I'm, I prefer this as a, a much more direct station route down this way from the station to the harbour. Uh, this way it picks up uh, any of the, the area we don't serve here. We're done. We're fixed. We're in. Oh, guys. Look what happened. You are the bestest business in the world. They've actually built this site. This is absolutely perfect. In real life, there it's full of houses or buildings down here. I don't know exactly what it is, whether it's a residential, commercial, but it does look like this. <laughs> oh, that's giving me a happy. Although we are going to have to send a bus up here, aren't we, currently? We don't have any bridging going across. I don't know how or if we could connect to the station but we'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll figure a way. I'm hoping soon we unlock new trucks. That'll be lovely. That will give us a huge boost in uh, our money situation. Not that we need it, let's be fair. Right, we're going to replace all of our buses here in various blues. And this line as well. There we go. Lovely jubbly. There, all the different blues. And they look wonderful now. These these guys are all sorts of happy. I guess we should quickly go over to uh, Toon here. They have a bus service, don't they? Yeah. They've got their new trams. Now they get new buses. They're going to be super happy. We're going to check on the, the state of the stops as well. I think everything's going all right. We still might need to cut back on a few trams. But for now, let's update the buses there. There you go. It's looking fairly distinctive uh, in each city, like the uh, the operator, it would kind of be, wouldn't it, that uh, runs the bus services for each town. Sometimes you get a crossover with the same operator, but uh, yeah, I like this. They've all got their distinct look to them. Sky blues out here, dark blues, or a variation, or varying blues. And yes, I like it. I think that's the only two bus services we have in here, though. It's very quiet, isn't it? It's nice. The roads are pleasant. Because a lot of people are using our tram service. And our bus service, the metro, they like it still. Uh, 521. As long as these have people on, that'll do me. It doesn't matter whether they're full or not. I mean, ideally, you don't want them full, do you? You want them to cope. And, and pay for that privilege. But it will get us on to our money owners over there. As we see people pouring into the harbour. It's actually lovely and busy. Which brings us to uh, the main line. Which is eventually going to head down all the way here. There's going to be a little stopping station and a big station. But uh, yes, we're not doing it yet. Because I'd like to, um, you know, get some use or mileage out of these ships. As soon as we bring in the train, it's going to somewhat cannibalise our shipping services but that's fine we can cut back on them we want them here more for scenery and the same for Oberhofen there Uberhofen and uh, Brienz up there we can we can we can make that work with trains and boats who knows maybe planes as well okay who else has a bus service these are tram only at the moment we probably need a little uh, a little bus service heading from down there. I don't know what they reach anyway. Because uh, they only reach here and... What does this one use? Oh, they do reach that side. In the comments, it was said, why do I put them so close together? 
and the main reason is I like to uh, give people options and not as far to walk to the stops which is why I'll put them close together like that rather than just take the catchment area if you just took the catchment area you'll probably make the biggest profit ever but uh, you won't be meeting your potential as far as passenger capacity goes uh, so a lot of people may decide for instance these people over here when it comes to deciding what they're going to do are they going to take their own car are they going to walk or are they going to catch the tram that's a walk isn't it but if there's a bus stop right here that calculation changes dramatically and they'll jump on the bus so yeah there we go that that's everything there oh i thought it was going to crash there episode 13 don't do it to me <laughs> there's been enough there's been enough okay should we head over to uh, Doma de Sala over here? Right. What is the situation here? Do you remember the uh, the snarl up on the bridge? Now it's just hordes of people and our bus stops. Look at how quiet the bridge is. I know uh, we are going to add. We're definitely going to add. We're definitely, definitely going to add another uh, crossing. Probably here to the very south and up to the north here. There's two ideal places to connect the road so we're not filtered through one however currently and i had a feeling this or i was hoping this might happen uh it's cleared the roads anyway and we no longer have congestion now they're going to get new buses which is going to help even further so we'll replace all of those immediately you've only just had those buses they're like wow this this guy is on the ball these buses only came out a couple of years ago as we get another new bus you're kidding me <laughs> well guys that's a thing that just happened as i'm replacing buses um well do you know what these are still worth a bit so we're gonna have them immediately on here well we'll check them first let's not get get ahead of ourselves uh it's a double double decker as well isn't it i think or is it just luggage on top i think it might just be luggage this might be good intercity bus rather than this one they're the same capacity, you see. We don't need to go faster than 25 kilometers in town at the moment. Eventually, we will. But at the moment, I would say we'll save this for the intercity connections that we've got over this way. Oh, yes. Yes, beautiful. It's a lovely bus, so we'll get to see it. And then we can have um, these buses, the post bus, in, uh, in the towns. Does that sound like a good idea to everybody? Me too. Not that one, that one. <laughs> As I almost don't do it. There we go. Yes, 40 kilometers an hour. So, we need to come over to this one. And we want the red line, don't we? Yes, we do. Which is not the combat delivery, Grand. You're not taking people to be turned into construction materials. Oh, should we check the road speeds? I've had a thought. It was mentioned in the comments as well. These do 40 kilometers an hour, the smaller roads. I mean, eventually we can upgrade them to these. These are, they're the same. So all of these are the same speed. No, they're not. These are only 20 small streets, paved streets. The pave, uh, the dirt roads, the small dirt roads are actually 40. So the same speed as the medium streets. And since our buses can only do 40, we're not in a rush to up upgrade them, are we? But we can uh, upgrade these. That would be lovely. We might want to get rid of the small streets on our bus routes, though. Although occasionally they go down a small street, don't they, a bus? It does happen. I've seen them do it. So we're going to have these guys. The, uh, that. Gaganow. C40. And that's how I'm pronouncing that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are double-deckers, guys. What a beautiful view these people are going to get. Oh, I'm excited. Get up. Get up here. Get up here. We're going to get on on the top of it there we go there we go oh you're going up not down oh it's beautiful get up a bit you're kind of laying on the floor that's weird there we go there we go get up just a touch so we're not clipping oh it's a beautiful view you guys should pay extra because look at that scenery oh yeah I'll just doing the weird pivot don't like that Ignore the pivot, Grand. They're not going to change it. Oh, isn't it lovely? 
I am all sorts of happy with that. Let's have a look at the bus. There we go. We've got a we've got a nice view here. I don't know where the camera would be mounted for this to happen. Probably on a stick, which would be. Oh, there's got a there's a spare tire underneath. All right, detail. Oh, that is someone's foot. Let's ignore that. Let's let's just get off and pretend that's not a thing. That's wrong. We may need to tidy this road up eventually. Only at places like this, uh, where we've got a junction, just so that you haven't quite got a roller coaster going on. I mean, it's probably okay. These are going to be shifting now, aren't they? Up to 40 mile an hour, yeah. Oh, that's that's a view, isn't it? A bit stuttery, game. What are you doing? But then it's fine when you go into this view, which makes absolutely no sense. So, I don't know what's going on there. That, that is... <laughs> that is a drop. And pretty much how uh, mountain roads do, isn't it? That's why people tend to take the train. Uh, there's a car ferry of some sort. Car loader, that I've been told in the comments. That goes through here where the people don't want to take the uh, treacherous mountain road. And instead will get on a train with their car, similar to the Channel Tunnel, uh, and go straight through. I guess uh, to Brudigan, Brudigan, over there. Should we upgrade these as well then? Uh, these will get a new new bus service or with the faster buses. Let's get these all nice and upgraded. And they're going to go much quicker. There we go. As they head out of town, these will do up to 40 kilometers an hour. There we go. They all please the people in their cars, wouldn't it? And we do care about people in cars. We want to provide a good road network as well as good public transport. As, as I've mentioned before, and as many of you know, destinations includes both private and public transport, and they add to the uh, to the size of the town. Right. Let's get this one. This is the 103. We're going to get you. Uh, nicely upgraded as well we should check on the ch tram status shouldn't we in tune once we've upgraded all these uh, that's a long old journey as well that's brilliant i like that that's going to be much more throughput down here that's crazy i should have checked uh, this one this one here we'll do it on this one should have checked the rate but the current rate for this line it we don't need that one this one See what you can see and zoom in. Uh, we can currently have a rate of 59. So let's upgrade these vehicles and see what we get then. And you get on there. What rate do we have now? 78. That will adjust as they uh, get it get into gear. Let's go and take a look at what these are. Logging. Where is that? Where are you? Mr. Vehicle. Let's go and take a look. Oh, it's these. Do these head through town? I don't think they do. No, we see, we don't care about those. That's fine then. Let's check over here. The... The bus stop is stupidly busy, isn't it? it well, fantastically busy, I should say. Yeah. This is wonderful news. Is this an, a fast road? I think it is, right? Yeah, it's going 40. It's a medium road. It won't get in the way of the tram now either. That's brilliant news. But yeah, it's busy. Bit of a snarl up then, wasn't there? Um, they were all dependent on this bus service, which has just put its capacity up through the roof now. There we go. If we zoom in there, I mean, it's not quite matching this, but there we go. You can see it rising. The frequency is still four minutes, though. We could probably stick a couple more on there, I'm going to say, of these, because uh, we'd like to get people moving sooner rather than worry about full buses because i don't really mind we're making more than enough money to cope with uh, buses not being full that is all running to the their optimum profit margin there we go i don't know where you've come out of but you're in that one maybe are they coming out of there yeah is that the only one down here no, there's one right there. Very close, just here. No, that's a tram depot. You know what? Transport fever. I take it back. That one's probably a, a good choice. It's a big line, this, though, isn't it? We're running all the way from Sierra to Sion. 
Perfecto. There we go, guys. You've got to... Uh, that's going to be nice. These are going to make a fortune. Ooh. We're going to... We need to check back on those before the end of the episode. Are we getting this in uh, since Stefan in today? I... Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It would be kind of nice to have another... Or even extend uh, the, the little stopper here and have two trains. It's certainly busier now, isn't it? <laughs> well... I mean, it's half full. I love this little mountain ramp. Wow, it's nearly full. You're kidding. You jest. You do not jest. That is brilliant. I've had a thought, and it was mentioned in the comments too. This is more of a hump than a, a gentle grade down. And I don't like it. It's it's a bit ridiculous. So we're gonna we're gonna spend some of our, our money. And we're going to get rid of all of this. That's what we're doing. We're getting rid of all of that. It's going to cost us, what, a couple of million? Close to? Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't like the way it was doing that. I still don't mind it going down. But this, it's a very bizarre... You don't want to put one of those in there. It's a very bizarre pump, isn't it? Rather than a, a more... Especially if you're building out here. They wouldn't have just, like, kind of built on the hump. They would have probably flattened it out a little bit. Now, if we go straight like this and then head down to here, we could probably head down gently anyway. And we keep that flat. We can make more of a, a gentle slope, can't we? In fact, take that down just a little bit and then we'll see what the game does with it. I do want to keep it straight up here. Now, what's that? That's better, isn't it? Oh, yes. Right. Now we're going to spend a lot more cash on doing a bit of this because why not it's actually not too bad is it that should look a lot better let's stick the strength right up there that'll be a lot in fact let's make it a bit bigger as well there we go oh it's beautiful there we go do we like that better i mean it's still there right we've still got the hump but it's uh well we've still got the elevation change you know we don't need this at all we can use the uh leveling tool to get that huge hump out where it was and instead concentrate on a smoother grade going down there we go like that if you just bring that section down we've got the money for it i mean before they build up here right because eventually it's going to get quite busy i would imagine now can we plan a way for them to build around here as well i hope so like if we take it up to somewhere like that let's stick it on curvy now we might be able to head down like we'll go off that way and we'll go off that way i'm just hoping we get a nice smooth connection into here without messing up the uh slopes we already have i don't mind if it slopes a little bit as long as it's not too bad no you see it's a gentle stepping down isn't it i like that and that means they can fill up in the middle here oh that's much much better there we go we've tidied it up hopefully they grow back here we can hit play in a second once we've uh, smoothed all this out. A bit of landscaping. Beautiful. Kind of uh, kind of happy with that. Was it worth the uh, few million we spent on it? I would say so. I would say so. Is that a better, better layout? Yeah, that, that looks much, 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 much nicer. We've still got a hump here, but it's not really an issue. Especially since they're going to build here anyway. We should wait, shouldn't we, as I just keep going? Just keep going. Yep. Yep, yep. Get carried away with that. What's going on here? Yes, we need to... Ooh, pause that quickly. We lost, a, we lost a stop, didn't we? In the demolishing. Hopefully they build back up here. That would be sad if they didn't. It was about here, wasn't it? Somewhere like that. Can we have it... Yeah, where's the next stop after that? You want it about... There we go. No more warnings it's it's taken that bus stop and added it to the line automatically automatically and we uh we have a new layout there which uh, pleases me greatly have we forgot about anything we need to no we did check on the trams what about this one up here i think they're still running fine they definitely have people on them this could maybe lose one more tram i don't know though everybody might just be getting off earlier on here 
I mean, it manages 189. It's making a bit of a loss. I think the lines that are making us a loss are not are not really that bad. Ignore the new train. That hasn't had time to bed in just yet. Our trams are a bit pricey to run, and it's over in Sierra and Brig. That might change now we have the faster buses connecting them. Yeah, this is a not a good time to do it. As all the uh, maintenance charges have just come out. I probably would like to tidy up Sierra and Brig, but uh, yeah, the Interlaken, that's fine. Sion's fine, but we did uh, cut back on that one a bit. Toon and what's the other one? There's only one of them. It's that one that we were looking at. I did feel like it possibly had one too many on there. So we'll change that. And Sierra and Brig as well. They don't need quite as many. There we go. Right, we'll do that then. We need to find an empty one if possible. Now they don't have many people on, so we could just get rid of them anyway. And they'll despawn. But there's always people waiting, I've noticed. It's a tough call. Because it's pulling people all the way from uh, Udendorf over there down into the uh, harbour. That's a, that's a long old journey. But what would removing one tram do for us? Not much, right? It's not going to change the frequency too much. But as I say that, it's getting busier and busier. Because we've just made another connection, haven't we? We've only recently just made another connection all the way up in uh, uh, Stadbe. Yes. So there we go. We'll, we'll let it run. Because it's just going to get busier and busier. In fact, are you on the rise? Soon? You're not really on the rise there. You might be here. Yeah, you are growing. There's the uh, destinations there. Look at the public transport. 1,101. Yeah. Okay, then. We'll leave it. Because every time I think about removing one, someone's waiting there. Although, saying that... No, you're going. Executive decision. Yeah, this, what, this is not going to affect it too much at all, is it? They will space themselves out. We could have a bus line as well. Pulling people in to a tram service. Rather than have the trams go around. Say, bring the trams out to a terminus here. And then a small bus take them on to the tram line there. It might be an idea. As there's two people now waiting. It, it, that's, that's a plan for later. How many are, how many's on here? Five. Yep, no. Executive decision is undone. I'm leaving it as is and I'm, we're paying for the privilege. I'm telling you guys, the real thing I would like to see right now is a new truck unlock. That That's our money earners. That's our steady income. These guys. Uh, rather than flood them with more vehicles, we could increase the capacity by n uh, no end with having a new truck. Now, this is all done. It's very busy. We might need a few more buses on there, that's for sure. Uh, how many people are currently waiting? 36. And I would imagine they're full. What sort of money are they making? Goodness me! Nearly 30k! That's a small fortune, isn't it? Look at the people wanting to go there. Three. Well, I was hoping you was a little more full than that. It's fine. Um... We might still need more people on here. More people? No, we don't need any more people. What we need is more buses. No, more people wouldn't... Yeah, you're overcrowded by a lot. Let's get a couple more buses on here. I don't know how many we put on. How many did we put on? Only eight? Mm, that was a little too conservative, wasn't it? Let's add a couple more on there. I'll take it. There we go. Two more buses for that line. We're probably going to need another one on this one as well. Let's put another two on there. We've only got six on here. Might as well match them, right? There we go. Two more for you. That should make us even more money now. We're currently in June 1910. And uh, I would say next episode, then we're going to see, or per perhaps by the end, it's going to be six minutes left. Yeah, by, by the end, we'll see if uh, 1911 brings us anything. Do I want to... Am I going to build this in six minutes? Probably not. My plan for the future, I'm waiting 
for 1925, but we can have a bus route for now, is to have a combined metro train station uh, to, to take people from St. Stefan down to Frutigen there. As this is the point where we go through the mountain. This one we kind of head up and we're going to do the the uh, this mountain railway up here where we've got to climb slowly up into the mountains and probably going to have some little tunnels and some little little uh, curves that's rough that could be a little bridge oh that's steep isn't it anybody want to drive down that goodness me it's a beautiful view though i'm looking forward to doing that we are having it similar to what we had up in the stad there yes yes plans are afoot guys so back to uh, this is what we're going to do at the beginning we're going to finish this off uh, bearing in mind what we're going to have is a a metro service uh, that's going to be separate to the main road heading down here are we looking forward to that i know i am we're going to do something a little special for that it's going to be a single track with a, a passing point but it's going to be roads really a bear yeah nothing to see here i think it's time to end this one on a bit of a cab ride don't you we've done all of our maintenance work we've in fact we got a new new bus should we look at maybe adding a little boat service here before we hook this up to uh, to the main line because we could have a a stopping service in fact we could maybe get this one isn't it that goes all the way to Interlaken could go via o Uberhofen. How busy is this boat? It's only half full, yeah. So we could maybe even add another boat. Plus, is this is supposed to be the uh, <laughs> the shipbuilding town? It doesn't even have a, a harbour. That is silly, isn't it? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to have just a little harbour up here where it can uh, like pass on the way by. Oh, it's a bit rough. There, there is a perfect place for it. We might need a little bus service in there. But I have a feeling that's possibly going to connect most of the town. We can redo this road before anyone builds on it. We can probably plough through there as well and get it all done. I mean, and then eventually, I guess what we do is remove that, right? And, and have a train station here once, uh, once trains are all done and in. And how much of a catchment area do you have just these people up here that's probably because there's no connecting road up there i kind of don't like that it keeps going up although you could have like a snake up the mountain there so that when you're looking from down here it they keep going up and up which is i've seen that a lot it's in uh, switzerland so yes we now have an extra little well, i mean it gets most of uberhofen doesn't it we'll leave it like that for now and then rather than uh, just a direct line, we can manage this, not the vehicle, we want the, the ferry. Since it goes past there anyway, I mean, technically it goes past here as well. But this, this I like a direct line to, it's two big cities. But uh, having it connect um, to Uberhofen there it makes a lot of sense because there shouldn't be too many passengers and it shouldn't add too much to the time either. So we're going to do it from Interlaken, you want to add that one. And then from Toon, you want to add that one as well. There, yes, it's perfect. Now, we only have one ferry running this, so now it looks like time to add another. Especially since you're down here anyway. Is this the Interlaken? No, that's to Spitz. Where is the... It's there, to Toon duplicated there we go you have two ferries now this is perfect oh it's so busy out here isn't it on the on the water on the lake it's perfect well let's see if anybody gets on there oh, there's a bit of a walk down to the uh, down to the harbor there and not too bad not too bad like i said we'll have a bus there eventually and look at the timing guys we're into uh, we're almost into 1911 there's probably nothing going to be unlocking but it, it's good to see and then we can plan what we're doing if if there is a vehicle unlock at least we've got some plans for next episode barring i mean we are definitely doing this guys and then we'll take a cab ride maybe on that bus because it's a bit quicker through the uh, through the mountains 
Well, there you go. We've got some beefy, beefy trains. And they're, they're from the same mod author as well as, as the ones we have running. Is this an upgrade to our logging route? I mean, because we're not meeting demand. Are we? I mean, we're not meeting capacity, are we? Um, we're not far off. What's the line statistic? Oh, only see what we can see. It is a rate of 300 and we can do 400 if I'm correct. Yes, we can. So these big trains, that's what we're doing next week. Not next week. I don't know when it will be, actually, because i got the internet installed. So bear with me this week. <laughs> I will try and get one up Thursday. But like I said, I won't know until tomorrow what the state of play is going to be as I, I try and cross over. I'm going to have to do a lot of testing. But uh, if you're following me on, on Twitter and Facebook, I will post speed test results. And if they're better... If you see nothing, it means I'm sulking and uh, like $100 less, uh, $100 down a month as well as sulking. You have enough waffling, you could be doing this on the bus. Do we have a bus here? We're probably going to still need more buses over here. No, it's fine. It's fine. There's a little bit of a wait. They're kind of clumped up still. Yeah, they haven't spaced themselves out just yet. No, they're all they're all kind of up this way, aren't they? Well, we can come this way, can't we? This is perfect. It's actually super busy now at this interchange that never used to be a thing. Guys, I love it. Let's get on board. I'll leave you with a little bit of a bus ride. Do, do we want to sit up here with these guys? Really, that's a fantastic moustache you have there, sir. We'll sit at the front, though, because that's the best seat, right? There we go. There's a nice view. There's even a few cars heading down here. I didn't see any cars before, but then... They, they only had horse and carts, didn't they? Uh, when we first did this. It's lovely, isn't it, down here? It's absolutely beautiful. That has been, finally, episode 13. Guys, we got it out the door. And we upgraded a bunch of stuff. We've got new buses, including these, which, which appeared. We've got two new trains to set up on Thursday. Hopefully Thursday. I will try. Time is uh, going to be all over the place, though, for me. So keep an eye out. I'll post in the community post thing about what's going on. But it should only, fingers crossed, last a week of a disruption for me and the channel. So for you guys as well, <laughs> indirectly. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how today went. It, we, it had to be done, right? We have to do the fiddly stuff, like the upgrading of buses, maintaining our lines. Uh, it's all part of the game. We are, we have got money on, so we, we've got to keep an eye on that so that we can do the fancies and earn the right to do so, literally. But yeah. Station next time, at the beginning. New trains as well. We'll find, uh, we'll get those logging trains up to capacity, I think. I think this is going to be the point where we uh, are doing 400 a run and easily as well. So we'll, we'll shuffle those trains around. And until then, take care.